we were asked to design a look and feel for the OAE CD releases and we wanted to explore a number of ideas. <clears throat> we, we didn't want them to look like typical classical music CDs um, and in my mind the typical classical music CD is either an old oil painting <laughs> or, uh, or um, a beautifully lit flower or something very soft or a sunset or something cliched. We wanted to kind of avoid those. And the thing we wanted to try and create was a look and feel that the OEE could own. Um, the first idea was um, this idea of very, very big typography. So again, typical classical music CDs tend to have, you know, very delicate, very light typography and something very italic. We wanted to kind of take it away from that and do something very punchy, something very bold. It's more in keeping with the OEE's uh, identity, their culture the Mavericks. Uh, we found this beautiful, um, beautiful photography. I forget the photographer's name, but they created this, these kind of vistas um, with these kind of light colored balls or blobs of ink that kind of floated across the background. And that to us was just another way, you know, a much more interesting way of, of kind of um, depicting the sound or the feel of the music. So you can see we've tried it over three different uh, covers there. So we're trying to build up an identity that could could play out across a range of CDs. Another idea we explored was um, uh, we wanted to explore this idea of light, and the the clue is from the name uh, enlightenment. So we liked this idea of a ball of light that was kind of softly lighting a landscape. We we found some images where the, a, a single light source was lighting some trees or a landscape or a cave, and we liked this idea of of creating a very, very dark set of, of CDs, but this kind of ball of light, which kind of played out quite nicely on the on-bodies because the ball of light would actually become the hole at the center of uh, each of the CDs. So it seemed to kind of be a nice graphical solution that tied into the name of the orchestra. So that was another route that we, um, we explored. We also looked at some uh, very graphic images, some images that were just very bold. The eye, what we were exploring here was how whilst we could have a very clean and consistent type style we could actually explore the music or the colour of the music in a graphic representation but as the CDs build up and the releases evolve over the years each one has got a very definite different graphic feel, different colours but it starts to build up a, a very identifiable style for the label. We wanted to try something quite abstract as well and we were again this is coming from the idea of enlightenment we wanted to to play around with inks and colors and and light them from behind so we'd use these on a light box uh, the inks uh, shoot from overhead and they just seem to create very very nice graphic shapes i think out of all of the ideas we explored this is probably the closest to what you might expect a classical music orchestra to produce so for me whilst this is a nice look and feel it's very appealing, it didn't feel like it was breaking any kind of new ground. The chosen idea that we, we went with um, is very quirky and I think very OAE in that um, we struck upon the idea of letters and the letters uh, would denote the composer. So we've got um, an M for Mozart, a B for Beethoven, or uh, this is the, the soloist, uh, Ovenden would be an O. So as that, as that evolves, we would pick up a letter. And what we liked about this idea is we could illustrate the letter in any different way that we wanted to. And over 10, 20, 30 releases, it wouldn't matter if you've got three or four Bs, each B would look different. It's, and it just becomes a very, very quirky and unique way for people to identify this graphic art with the OAE. So that was the that was the cover concept. The actual finished artwork is is this. So first release for the OAE um, CD is Monteverdi Vespers. So we've picked up on the M of Monteverdi, and we've created this letter form made up out of wood, and we've created it on the computer, but made it look as if it's 3D and as if it's a real structure. We've added bits of gold leaf into there as well, and given it a nice wooden textured background. Um, we just wanted something that was very, very simple, but very quirky and, and very unique. What you might not be able to see is the OAE's tagline, not all orchestras are the same. 
what we want to do with each release is to kind of subliminally embed that into the image. It's the kind of thing people are going to have to, to look out for, but it's a nice, it's a nice kind of soft touch.